keep this is finally a Sage keyboard. Now in one of my Amazon unboxings, I mentioned this keyboard here that I had for five years, which is a pretty long time already. That's average, I really do not know. Do comment below and let me know how long you keep your keyboards for, but for some reason I feel like this has been a long time because it's just worked for me. And it still works very, very well to this day, so I didn't have any need or any pressure to just throw it out. And this is the mouse that it came with. So now, let's cut into this guy. Very, very long. But it's so long, it will not fit entirely into the frame. So. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. This is finally the seeds. 2020. Let's so hope that it is in good condition and that it's not broken or missing any keys or whatever. A gift from. Always ash bake. This sounds very. Uh, you know, actually, I'm not too sure. Like, is this South Asian or West Asian? Who cares? Actually, I do care because I'm curious about the origin of that name. What you're most curious about, though, is this keyboard. How well does it work? What does it look like? And what is up with this Sage brand? Well, when I think when I looked into it, it's a electronics company founded in Shenzhen, China. They make things like keyboards, mice, and I think other gadgets. At first, I had some slight suspicions about them, but then when I looked into it, I'm like, hold on, these guys are actually a company that makes things, like recognizable things. Well, it may not be widely recognizable per se, unless you are just that familiar with the brand, but there's nothing completely random either. That's what I'm saying. So, let's get into this now. There it is. I can see it. Robin egg blue and white, or I guess turquoise. Oh, would you look at this beauty? You'll see more of him soon, don't worry. Where's the mouse? Oh, I see the mouse. Here's the mouse. Again, you'll see more of it soon. And the batteries just fell on my feet. Yay! You'll see more of those soon. Okay, so now these guys are back in action. First, the keyboard. And I made some papers just slipped out. Oh, it's nothing but the user's manual in... Is this traditional Chinese? Yes, this looks like traditional. Oh, wait, I'm not even in the frame. Okay, here we go. But yeah, this definitely looks like traditional Chinese. And uh, <laughs> I do not know how to read that. Some of you can. But I cannot. So yes, I think this is actually some of the complaints in the comments that the instructions are only in... Oh! Here's some in English. So this state of standby and wake up the mouse. Economize model. Okay, I'll read more of this carefully off camera. And now... Let's see. That's the back. You can see some more of this. Its specifications 2.4 gigahertz wireless keyboard. Made in China. Surprise! And I believe this is the slot for the battery. There were some other keyboards that I were considering that were wireless, but what turned me off from them was the fact that they had non movable batteries. I'm like, are you serious? Like, it's already bad enough that smartphones now widely do not have removable batteries, but for keyboards, though, that's just no, man. That's just, honestly, I think I'd rather just use a wired keyboard than to use a wireless keyboard with a non-removable battery. Although, of course, they just market it as 
built in, which we all know what built in means. But you know what's even worse than a keyboard with a non removable battery? A mouse with a non removable battery. Like, really? Really, you guys? Really? Anyways, I was kind of thinking of swapping these with like some Duracells or what's the name of that other one? The bunny? Yeah, Energizer, but then like, eh, I guess we'll just give these ones a shot. I mean, it says 0% mercury and cadmium. Cadmium, yeah, I know I said that kind of awkwardly. Yeah, see, here we go. We activate this light so we can make things clear. 0% mercury, cadmium. TC Best. It's just that this brand sounds very weird and unfamiliar, so I'm like, eh. can I really trust it? Gosh, I do not know, but we're going to use it anyway because it's what came with it. If it leaks or does something dumb, then I can just swap it. Let's just hope that it doesn't do that in the first place anyway, so, okay. Slot this in, and I'll attach this now. Wait, am I doing this wrong? No. Is everything in frame? Yes, everything's in frame. Okay, oh, we're looking at that. You can actually kind of see it through too, eh? Wow. Okay, so it also has these straps to allow you to adjust it. So if you want it to be slightly raised, you can. Definitely way clickier than my other one. Oh yes, let's do a size comparison. Look at that. It's bigger and I like that. I like that it's bigger because you know what? It makes it feel more like a full size wired keyboard and that's exactly what I was looking for. So it being larger is a plus for me. Some people might complain about the size, but you know what? If you thought this was too big, then you obviously didn't do your research, so... Oh yes, if I want me to measure it too, yes you do, don't lie. Where's my measuring tape? Okay, here we go. And you probably said it somewhere in the specifications, but... I'm gonna measure it anyway, because that's just what I do. We're looking at 44 centimeters, wow. This guy on the other hand, we're gonna be looking at... Uh, 38 centimeters. Okay, so 44, 38, quite a size difference. Okay, so now for the mouse. I'm just gonna move this further away so it doesn't get in the way. Oh, this is a really nice looking mouse. Look at that, like, look at this and look at this. <laughs> okay, why did I laugh like a madman? <laughs> no, seriously, it looks so bland. Like, oh my gosh. It looks so bland. It's Oh, you know what? This looks like this is a, just a convenient slot for this. Okay, I was kind of thinking that maybe you leave this in this, but no. Obviously, you can't use a mouse like this. That would be just awkward. So, let's open up this slot and stick our batteries in there. Or in this case, just a single battery. And it's being very difficult. It doesn't want to open it. Okay, how am I supposed to slide my battery into this hole if it won't open up? Open, man. Don't be so tight and difficult. Okay, there we go. Now it's time for the insertion. Okay, so now this can... Am I in frame? Yes. Oh, did you see that? I think it just lit up. Yeah, let's do that again. Oh, oh. See if we can make it closer. Yes, yes, that's a good sign. Although I don't like that it was kind of blurry right there. Is this video rippling? Yeah, I don't like how it's rippling. So, okay, I'm going to turn this light off. Maybe turn this one off as well so we can get rid of that unpleasant rippling. And just activate this one. Does it still look like it's rippling? Yes, it still mildly looks like it. Okay, let me turn this light off. Yeah, I know, that might sound kind of dramatic, but you know what? I think that might just look too unpleasant overall, so now I'm just gonna slowly turn back on the lights. See if it's still gonna be doing that. Uh, no. Yeah, I know, it's kind of something I should probably do off camera, but 
And it's just one of those things that when you notice it, you just have to deal with it right away. Anyways, so okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna push this back on. And I'll have to find a port to stick this in. Thankfully, the Inspiron 10TD50 has lots of ports. It's not like Apple's products where they probably have no ports or two little ports. Okay, um, which side should I stick this? Uh, I'm gonna have to, okay, I, I see a side. Let's test it. Does it recognize it? Because I think they said it, it's supposed to be plug and play. So let's hope that we can stick it in and get straight to business. Um, um. <laughs> okay, that sounded way too damn sexual. You know, that sounded ridiculously sexual. And because of that, this video is no longer rated E. And do I care? Not really. <laughs> All right, stamp this up acting so cringy and weird and just start testing this keyboard now. Now my camera's wobbling. The rippling is gone though, so that's good. But um, yeah, should I type some real things? Yeah, let's type some real. I, I don't know what to type though. I'll just type, okay. Oh, this feels kind of weird, man. You know, I'll just say gibberish. Okay, let's, just, let's, let's just type anything. Oh yeah, when doing a typing test, you're supposed to shut up, so I'm doing this wrong. How long is this video? Okay, I think that should probably give you the idea. Oh, the mouse, I haven't tested the mouse. Oh, uh, does this thing even work? What's going on here? Oh, okay, so I just had to press this. There we go, it works now. Okay, the clicking feels very, mm, focus camera. But yeah, anyways, the clicking feels really weak. I hope it wasn't grainy this whole time while I was typing, because if it was, then... Uh, you know, let me keep this focus circle here, and let me just type gibberish just to see if it'll stay focused. Okay, this mouse, it doesn't feel as sturdy and clickety as this mouse. I mean, he looks way better, but listen to this. Oh, need to make sure I'm not clicking gibberish. Okay, let me move him over here. All right, here we go. Make sure it's clicking something on the note, but not. See how weak this is? Let me bring it even closer to the microphone. So this is the Sage V20. And now this is the Dell. Significant difference. So, if you're the type that really likes that 
solid, firm clicking sound. This mouse is definitely not going to cut it. I mean, it's light, it looks great, and this particular unit does not work. So it's a good thing it has the parts number clearly listed here. Maybe I'll restart the computer tomorrow and see what's going on with it because the keyboard works just fine. But for some reason, this thing, it can't click. Maybe actually that weak click is a sign that this particular unit is actually a defect. Like my cursor will show up, but it can't do anything though. Like for instance, I'm pressing this X in this notepad application and it is not doing anything. So that's that. Uh, the, that aside though, otherwise the keyboard works just fine. I'm not sure why this mouse doesn't. Uh, I don't even know if it's a widespread issue or not. But I'll definitely have to try and see what happens tomorrow. And if it is indeed faulty, then uh, yeah, I'll just have to get them to send another mouse. Or maybe I'll just use one for another manufacturer entirely. But seriously, it'll actually, know, both the mouse and the keyboard should work. So I'll probably just contact Sage and see what they say. Oh yes, this keyboard. I bought from Amazon and I'll have direct links to it below. However, if you want it in the black and red configuration or even, I believe, white and pink, you may have to get it from New Egg or probably Amazon.com, like the American locale. I don't know what the other locales have. Maybe they have all the colors, maybe they don't, but for the Canadian locale, this is the only color that I saw. So Amazon Canada is kind of limited with the colors, but New Egg, we can get all the colors. Anyways, that does it for this long keyboard video, and now I am out.